Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Is one required to stand during the recital of Kriya Satayra? In shuls we see most of the congregation sitting and some people standing. And what is the proper thing to do according to halacha and according to minog and chabad custom? So we do not find in the Talmud any mention of an obligation to stand during the Torah reading in shul. And mention is only made regarding the Balkaire, the person receiving the Aliyah, but not anyone else. Which automatically seems to imply there is no obligation for the congregation to stand during the Torah reading. And so indeed is the opinion of many Rishonim and Paiskim that there is no obligation for the congregation to stand during Kriya Satira. So rules the Torah in chapter 146 in the name of Sar Shalim, Hamanhig, and the Mordechi. And so is the ruling of the Mechaber and the Beis Yosef and in the Shulchan Aruch, chapter 146, Allah that there is no requirement to stand during Kriya Satayr. And so rule many other Paiskim and Achrein. However, there are Rishonim who are stringent in this matter to stand during Kriya Satayr, and they only allow sitting between the Aliyas. So was the custom of the Marami Rottenberg, as testified in the Sefer Tashbeitz, 182, and in the Mordechai Shabbos 422, and so records the Ramah in the Shulchan Aruch 146.4 that some are accustomed to be stringent to stand, and so is the custom of the Maram. Before we go into, so what is the final ruling of what one should follow, what is the argument of debate happening here between the two positions? Why did the Marami Rottenberg stand absent of any Talmudic requirement? So we have two options recorded in the Paiskim. One is that they learn from a Pasuk in Nehemiah chapter 8, Pasuk 5. That when the Torah scroll is open, the entire congregation stands. Up, we have a verse stating this exact stringency of the Maram. That when the Sefer Torah is being read, you have to stand. However, the Rishonim all negate this verse as being used to support this stringency of a custom. As the Talmud in Saita 39a explicitly says that the word stand here means to sit silently. And it's not referring to the position of standing versus sitting. Another reason possibly mentioned, says the Bach in chapter 141, as since during the Torah reading the Zahar states we have to view it as if we are now receiving the Torah again from Sinai. And on Sinai, we stood during the Ten Commandments, or so too here too, one should stand during Kriya Satayra in reflection of what happened during Mount Sinai. The opposing opinions hold that although this is all true that we stood by Mount Sinai, once again there is a lack of source to require one to do so by Kriya Satayra, and therefore it is not an obligation. So how do we rule? Many Pais can rule like the first position that one does not need to stand. And many Pais can rule like the second position that there is a Chumrah to stand. So rules the Taz in chapter 146, defending the position of the Maram. And so writes the Seyda Hayyim, Lechem Chamudas and Brachis, Ramem Ipuno, the El Yerabo, the Rechaim, and others. Practically regarding this matter, we look at the Minhuk and the widespread custom of jury both Ashkenazim and Sfarim, is to sit during Kriya Satayra. So writes the Beis Yosef, the Torah, the Prichadosh, Mati Yehuda, the Kafachayim, and others, that this is the Minog of Yisrael today to sit. Furthermore, according to Kabbalah and Shara Kavanis, through Shwan, page 48, it states that the Arizal sat, sat throughout the entire Kriya Satayra. And so it writes also in Prietzchayim and Mishnah Chassidim. So we see that according to Kabbalah, one is specifically to sit during Kriya Satayra. And thus we find that in truth amongst the Sfaradim who follow also the rulings of Kabbalah, they are particular to sit during Kriya Satayra. However, amongst Ashkenazim, while most Ashkenazim also sit down, there are some who are stringent upon themselves, and someone who wants to be stringent upon himself is allowed to do so. Regarding the Chabad custom, so it does not state anywhere explicitly whether our custom is to sit or stand, but what we do know is that when the Rebbe was addressed this question in Nigris Kadesh, volume 24, page 120, he sent the asker to look at what the Rebbe Rashab wrote in his gloss on the Siddur. And in that gloss, the Rebbe Rashab indeed writes the custom of the Ariza to sit, although he brings a Paisik who holds that in a shul that the beam is not elevated, it's not an elevated platform, 
it's a regular table or bima sitting on the floor, then during the reading the congregation is to stand unless it's difficult and they can pay greater concentration when they sit. From here it would seem that the Chabad custom is to sit during Kriya Satayra unless we have an unelevated bima. Practically regarding the Rebbein themselves, the Rebbe Rashab was testified to stand during Kriya Satayra with exception to Hashanah Yom Kippur when he was sit. The Rebbe Rayatz is testified to have sat during Kriya Satayra starting from Mustav. And as we know, the Rebbe starting from year 1978 would sit during Kriya Satayra. And it's difficult to say that this is simply because of the Rebbe's health as during dollars the Rebbe stood for many, many hours not just for the 10-20 minutes of Kriya Satayra. So practically, even according to Chabad custom, the mainstream approach is to sit during Kriya Satayra, although those who want to be stringent to stand may do so, following the opinion of the Maram. And those shuls that do not have a platform bima are to try to stand during Kriya Satayra, as rules the Rebbe Rashab. Although if it's difficult for them, they too may sit. All this is regarding standing versus sitting during the actual reading. What about during the time of the brachis, during the time of the blessings of the Torah? Does one have to stand? May one sit? What about those who are already standing? Their machmed to stand during Kriya Satayra. May they sit during the actual bracha? So this Amir Shem we will cover in a future halacha. Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Our free services of making Torah knowledge available to the public depends on donors like you. Please help us continue our work through making even a small contribution at www.shuhanarcharav.com under the daily halacha dedication section or in the subscription page. Also, check out our online courses and many safarim available for purchase that will both enhance your Torah knowledge and help support our work.